Hey, what's going on, guys? Amy Apples here. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5, uh, the final version of it. So, first, what you're going to do is that uh, once you have iOS 5 on your device, um, you're going to make sure that um, you have it activated and you're not in this screen right here, which is like the setup screen. You want to make sure that you have it completely activated if you're on an iPhone or an iPod and you're on your springboard. So now we're going to head over to the computer and I'll show you these Red Snow. Alright guys, so once you're on your computer, first what you're going to want to do is download Red Snow just from the link in the description and you're also going to want to make sure you have a copy of iOS 5 for your specific device. You can just find that um, on Google or anywhere. And so once you're in Red Snow, it's going to ask you for the uh, IPS, uh, IPSW that you downloaded. So as you can see, I've got the iPod 4th Gen here, and I'll just click Open, and it identified it. So now I'll just click Jailbreak for my iPod 4. So now it'll ask me what I want to install. I'm just going to install Isidia, and I'll enable the multitasking gestures and the battery percentage, and next and now it is now I'm gonna have to turn it off alright so once your device is off just click next and you're gonna hold down the power button in the corner and hold down the home button afterwards just do what Red Snow tells you to do like so on the screen it'll tell you how long to do it also and once you are finished this process your um, iDevice should be in DFU mode and from there Red Snow will continue the jailbreaking process and you will be good to go. Alright, so once you're in DFE mode, it'll start to process and it'll say it's exploiting and it'll start uploading all the stages of the jailbreak and your iPod will begin to reboot or iDevice. And on your screen, it should say downloading jailbreak data once it is started to download. And Red Snow will say done and don't worry if your iDevice has a whole bunch of white letters with a black background on it. That's just a part of the jailbreak. So as you can see here, here's my iPod uh, currently in the jailbreak process. It has all the white letters on the screen. That is just pretty much like the loading screen of it. And now you'll see the little pineapple running and it'll just continue jailbreaking. Alright guys, so once your iDevice finishes up, it should start to reboot. And remember, this is a tethered jailbreak, so every time you boot up your device, you're going to have to open up Red Snow and go into the booting menu, which I will show you in a minute. But now that my iPod is booted up, you can see here on my home screen, I do have Cydia. And right now, it is just a white icon, which you can just fix by going into it and updating. So now I will show you how to do a tethered boot. Alright guys, so now my iPod is connected to my computer and is off, which means I'm going to have to do a tether boot since this is a tether jailbreak. So you're going to open up Red Snow, click Extras, and just click Just Boot, and Next. And it'll be basically like putting it into DFU mode, except you're booting it up. And there we go, my iPod is now activated. So I'll show you what it looks like right now. Okay, so after doing that tether boot with a red snow, my iPod is back up and ready to go. So yeah, that is how to jailbreak iOS 5 final with a red snow beta. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.